Argyle and Oban in Western Scotland. This summer, we also got a chance to tour it on our long seven days in Scotland. We stopped at Talisker, the oldest distillery on the Isle of Skye on our way. This is just beautiful country. If you get a long time to visit Scotland, I would definitely recommend visiting here. We stayed at the Chiaro Mara Croft B&B, or the Sky Ski House in Tynault, with Matt and Sophie. Their wonderful hospitality and great breakfast was awesome, but they also gave us wonderful information on where to go in Argyle and Oban and what we should see. So we headed out to Oban, and I always stop at the information center in any little town in Europe, big or small, because they also have unannounced things happening, and you find the coolest off the beaten path information here. One of the cool things we found was that there was a ferry boat that went over to the island of Carrera and we asked Sophie and Matt about it and they said we should absolutely do it if we were in for a hike. So off John and I went. We stopped at the Waypoint Cafe and had lunch. It was real simple, it was a good price and delicious too. So our hike was really interesting. Right away we met one of these furry cows. We learned quickly you don't get between a mama and her calf. Here John is trying to just skadoodle his way around without any harm. And of course Papa Cow is just there relaxing in the water. So since Robert the Bruce, Scotland has had a rule, free to roam law, so you can hike pretty much on any path. As long as it's not the Queen's land, you're free to hike it. Our second day, we visited Kruakon. This hollow mountain and engineering feat was really amazing. It was a very quick tour and inexpensive too. Then we headed off to St. Conan's Kirk. This church was built in 1811 by Walter Douglas Campbell from this area. And it's really cool. There is architecture from all different kinds, from Roman to ancient to Gothic. Right around the corner is the Kilkern Castle. This mid 15th century castle was built by the Campbell clan who dominated the Central Highlands for almost two centuries. If you think it sounds familiar, that's because it's all throughout the Outlander series. Yeah, I'm a fan too. Time for lunch, so we decided to stop in Dal Molly at Scoffers Fish and Chips. Sarah, Jamie, and Molly welcomed us, and they were good friends with Sophie and Matt, so it was really easy to just enjoy ourselves. Then we were off to Glen Orkey and the falls. These famous falls are wonderful to hike in. Didn't have enough time today, though. Maybe on our next visit to Argyle and Oban. I hope you liked the vlog on Argyle and Oban. Click the links below for more information and don't forget to subscribe.